North Carolina, like any state, has a diverse landscape of crime rates across its cities. While some areas boast relative safety, others face higher rates of violent and property crime. Explore North Carolina's top 10 most dangerous cities. 10. Durham. Durham presents a complex picture when it comes to crime rates. Durham's overall crime rate is higher than the national average, with some sources placing it at 72% higher. This means you have a 1 in 25 chance of being a victim of any crime here. Durham's property crime rate is 58.1 per 1,000 residents, exceeding the U.S. average of 35.4. This means you're statistically more likely to be a victim of property crime in Durham compared to the national average. In 2021, there were 5,810 property crimes reported. However, there's good news. Crime rates in Durham have shown a downward trend in recent years with a 1% decrease from 2020 to 2021. 9. Henderson. Compared to the national average, Henderson's crime rate is 156% higher, with a 1 in 17 chance of becoming a victim of any crime. Within North Carolina, only 4% of communities have a higher crime rate. Property crimes like burglary, theft, and motor vehicle theft constitute a significant portion. 72% of all reported crimes. The property crime rate is 2.02 times higher than the national average, and 2.14 times higher than the state average. The picture is even starker for violent crime, with rates 379% higher than the national average. This translates to a 1 in 61 chance of being a victim of violent crime. 8. Fayetteville. Fayetteville's overall crime rate is significantly higher than both the national and state averages. Sources like Area Vibes report a rate of 4,435 per 100,000 residents, compared to the national average of 2,697, and North Carolina's 3,811. Notably, the overall crime rate has been declining for several years. 2023 saw a 6% decrease compared to 2022, and this trend continued in 2022. However, this decrease primarily affects property crimes. While property crime remains a concern, it has seen a more significant decline compared to violent crimes. In 2022, the property crime rate was 323.2 per 100,000 residents, down from 425.1 in 2019. This translates to roughly 1 in 31 residents being a victim of a property crime annually. 7. Greensboro. According to Area Vibes, Greensboro's total crime rate sits at 4,605 per 100,000 residents, exceeding the national average by 98.12%. This translates to roughly 37.68 daily crimes, 6.7 of which are violent. Crime rates vary significantly within Greensboro. Certain neighborhoods are considerably safer than others highlighting the importance of localized crime prevention efforts. Greensboro falls within the top 20% of most dangerous cities in the United States, according to Neighborhood Scout. This means it has a higher crime rate than 89% of all communities in the country. Property crimes like burglary, larceny, and motor vehicle theft are more prevalent in Greensboro. The chance of becoming a victim of property crime is roughly 1 in 28. 6. Whiteville. Whiteville's overall crime rate sits at a concerning 83 per 1,000 residents, translating to a 1 in 12 chance of becoming a victim. This is 334% higher than the national average, and over four times the state average. The data paints a worrying trend, a 35% increase in crime year over year. Whiteville's violent crime rate is 175% higher than the national average, with a 1 in 94 chance of becoming a victim. Property crime contributes significantly to the overall rate, with a 1 in 7 chance of becoming a victim. This includes burglary, larceny, and motor vehicle theft. 5. Gastonia. With a crime rate of 4,726 per 100,000 residents, Gastonia surpasses the national average by 103.32%. This translates to an average of 10.61 daily crimes including 1.77 violent incidents, and 8.84 property-related offenses. Within North Carolina, Gastonia ranks among the communities with higher crime rates, with over 91% of the state's communities having lower rates. 
residents face a 1 in 21 chance of experiencing either violent or property crime. 3,227 property crimes occurred in Gastonia, exceeding the national average by 101.5%. This category includes burglary, larceny, and motor vehicle theft. 4. Rockingham. Rockingham's crime rate is significantly higher than the national average, with Neighborhood Scout reporting a rate of 79 per 1,000 residents. This means residents in Rockingham are roughly three times more likely to be victims of crime than the average American. Rockingham's violent crime rate is also higher than the national average, with a rate of 9.97 per 1,000 residents compared to the national average of 3.7 per 1,000. This means residents are more likely to experience crimes. Property crime is even more prevalent in Rockingham with a rate of 69.43 per 1,000 residents compared to the national average of 22.3 per 1,000. This translates to a higher chance of experiencing burglaries, thefts, and motor vehicle thefts. 3. Reedsville. Reedsville's crime rate surpasses the national average by a significant margin. Neighborhood Scout reports a crime rate of 46 per 1,000 residents. This means residents in Reedsville are nearly twice as likely to be victims of crime. Property crimes like theft, burglary, and vehicle theft constitute a major chunk of Reedsville's crime landscape. According to Area Vibes, your chance of being a victim of property crime in Reedsville is 1 in 27, significantly higher than the national average. The violent crime rate in Reedsville is 167% higher than the national average. The robbery rate in Reedsville is three times higher than the national average. The theft rate in Reedsville is two times higher than the national average. 2. Albemarle. Compared to the national average, Albemarle's crime rate is significantly higher. Sources like Neighborhood Scout estimated at 53 per 1,000 residents, translating to a 1 in 19 chance of becoming a victim of any crime. Property crimes like burglary, larceny, and motor vehicle theft are more prevalent in Albemarle than violent crimes. The chance of being a property crime victim is roughly 1 in 21. While higher than the national average, Violent crime rates in Albemarle are not as alarming as property crimes. The chance of being a victim of a violent crime is estimated at 1 in 152. While higher than average, it's important to note that crime rates in Albemarle have been decreasing in recent years. Area Vibes reports a 23% decrease compared to the previous year. 1. Lumberton. Lumberton, North Carolina unfortunately finds itself in the unenviable position of having a significantly higher crime rate than both the national average and the average for North Carolina. Lumberton's overall crime rate is roughly 486% higher than the national average, and 5.52 times higher than the North Carolina average on a daily basis per 100,000 residents. This translates to a 1 in 11 chance of becoming a victim of any crime in Lumberton compared to a 1 in 28 chance nationally. Lumberton's situation is even more stark when it comes to violent crime, with rates 549% higher than the national average, and 5.92 times higher than the North Carolina average. This means you have a 1 in 30 chance of becoming a victim of a violent crime in Lumberton compared to a 1 in 218 chance nationally. While still significantly higher than national and state averages, property crime rates in Lumberton are slightly less alarming than violent crime rates you have a 1 in 14 chance of becoming a victim of property crime in Lumberton.